With more people getting back to their pre COVID lives, New Jersey Transit is adding to three dozen trains to meet growing demand. News 12 New Jersey's Marcy Rubin is at Hoboken Terminal. It was so empty and so quiet and now like it's totally back to normal, back to being crowded. Emily Brooks started commuting from New Jersey to New York in the summer of 2020, just after COVID shut everything down. Things have certainly changed since then. Ryan Kelly notices the trend as well. I see people sitting next to each other on the train a little bit more now. Uh, it feels a little bit more normal. And NJ Transit is hoping to keep up with that return to normal, adding 36 new trains system-wide starting today. 22 on weekdays, 14 on weekends, and those on the main Bergen line, it means hourly trains on the weekends. The agency also promoting additional express service along with improved trip times and connections. President and CEO Kevin Corbett says staffing improvements allow the changes, saying, quote, now that we have a full roster of locomotive engineers, we are able to support these kinds of service enhancements to meet the needs of our customers as they return to our system. Those customers returning to their normal certainly happy to see the schedule expanding along with the number of commuters. Some of the trains right now are more packed. Adding more trains will allow some of that crowd to be dispersed a little bit more. Definitely can't hurt, you know, more is better. There are also changes being made to existing schedules, including departure times and scheduled stops along the route. So be sure to check the schedules for your regular trains. And for those additional ones, you can do that by heading to news12.com or checking the News 12 app. In Hoboken, Marcy Rubin, News 12, New Jersey.